The following video is produced by the Computer History Archives Project. The following presentation provides a very brief overview of the highly influential Plato computer system. Plato was a groundbreaking computer-based educational system developed at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in the early 1960s. It was years ahead of its time. Through the brilliant work of Professor Donald Bitzer, co-inventor of the plasma display panel, and physics professor Chalmers Sherwin. The first computer-based education system, known as PLATO, came into existence. Throughout the 1960s and beyond, numerous talented individuals came together to help design software and courseware for the PLATO platform. The acronym PLATO, PLATO, stands for Programmed Logic for Automatic Teaching Operations. PLATO was the first generalized computer assisted instruction system. In many ways, PLATO laid the foundational designs for later advancements in the field of computer based education. It also introduced new functional concepts to the world of electronic teaching aids and electronic communication such as the plasma display screen, touchscreen input, interactive graphics, electronic mail, and others. The Plato system began around 1960 at the University of Illinois. Initially, it ran as a one-terminal system connected to the ELIAC computer. The first Plato system was a single student workstation connected to the university's ELIAC 1 computer. The Plato 2 had two student stations, connected first to the ELIAC-1 and then later to a CDC-1604 computer. By 1963, the PLATO-3 system was running on a Control Data Corporation Model 1604 computer, supporting multiple simultaneous users. The PLATO system used a special purpose programming language called TUTOR, which was developed in 1965 by Paul Tenzar. The tutor language allowed one to write educational software. In 1967, using grant funds, Donald Bitzer established the Computer-Based Education Research Laboratory, CERL, at the university. By 1972, the Plato system had grown to over a thousand simultaneous users and was hosted on a CDC cyber mainframe. In 1973, Plato Notes, an application created by David R. Woolley, was among the world's first online message boards, an early social media platform. In 1976, Control Data Corporation, a large-scale computer manufacturer at the time, acquired the rights to commercial production and marketing of the Plato system. By 1978, CDC operated a Plato system network utilizing CDC Information Systems terminals, accessing a CDC cyber mainframe. A notable milestone of over 10 million terminal contact hours was reached in 1979. By 1981, there were 18 Plato systems, 10 owned and operated by Control Data Corporation, and 8 run by universities. During the early 1980s, CDC made Plato available for microcomputers through a variety of computer makers, including IBM, Tandy Radio Shack, Texas Instruments, and Atari. By 1985, the Control Data Corporation had established Plato systems in over 100 campuses around the world. In 1986, Plato courseware became available on local area networks for personal computers. Control Data Corporation sold the Plato name and software to TRO Incorporated in 1989. In 1992, TRO Inc. changed its name to Plato Learning.
In 2012, Plato Learning merged with Archipelago Learning, and today, the combined company is called Edmentum. Since its inception in the 1960s, the Plato systems have introduced thousands of people to the fascinating world of computer-based learning. The development energies that went into the Plato systems have greatly benefited the technology industry in general and the educational field in particular. With memories spanning decades. We hope you enjoyed this very brief look at Plato's long and fascinating history. To explore the world of Plato's systems further, please see the following resources. Editor's Note The unquestionable value of computers as educational tools can be traced back to the earliest days of the vacuum tube giants of the late 1940s and early 1950s. Scientists, mathematicians, and engineers in the military were among the first to recognize the potential importance of utilizing computers in the training of personnel. Early training focused not only on the use of computers themselves, but training in concepts of weapons control, logistical tracking of supplies and aircraft, defense monitoring, and improvement of human-computer interaction and responsiveness. Military funding for early computer research was the genesis for later advancements in computer-based education, CBE, and computer-assisted learning, CAL. Thirty years before the development of the World Wide Web, computer-based training techniques and concepts were being designed and implemented for use in the private sector. During the 1960s and beyond, universities and training centers provided a testbed for new technologies in the field of computer-aided instruction and computer-assisted learning. The presentation on the early development of the Plato system is one such study in the rapid growth of such technologies.